I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and part two of the Samsung Galaxy Stellar full review starts in just a moment. But first, special thanks to our partners at Best Buy Mobile for giving us devices like the Galaxy Stellar and more for use in our One Paul Bandit giveaway game, which you can find at instantwin.phonedog.com. When you walk into Best Buy Mobile, you won't deal with rebates, you won't deal with the paperwork, waiting eight to 10 weeks, you'll walk out the door with the after rebate price at Best Buy Mobile. Let's take a look, Galaxy Stellar, part two, full review starts right now. Part two of the video review of the Samsung Galaxy Stellar, you know, and it's an entry level, I wouldn't even say low end device, but an entry level device that's free with a two year agreement after mail and rebate. But feature wise, it's packing some great stuff. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 CPU. It's a four inch display, no HD or anything, but 480 by 800 pixels, a 3.2 megapixel camera. So you can obviously see the sacrifices that have been made to get this device to free. That said, Android 4.0 with TouchWiz, 2,100 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE connectivity. So you're seeing these devices that are even free and 50 bucks like the Pantech Flex on AT&T be awesome devices that people can carry. I mean, this is a powerful device. I haven't seen any lag on this device and have been really impressed with it overall. So for free, you can get a smartphone and you don't have to worry about breaking the bank with the Galaxy S3, the HTC One X, the Evo 4G LTE, whatever it is, your iPhone 5, whatever the device of choice is for you. You don't have to worry about spending 200 to $300 when you can get a device like this with a dual core processor. The cool thing about this as well, and I didn't cover this in part one because it's covering it in part two, you can see a mode change. And this is something I'm really impressed with. It's called a standard mode, and then you have starter mode as well. So let's say you have somebody in your family that's moving up to a smartphone for the first time. They're new to it. They're new to the experience. They're like, you know what? Put it in starter mode and call it a day. You know, call it a day. It's not as exciting as Pantech Eases, or Pantech Flex, excuse me, uh, easy mode. But that said, you still get some nice applications or some nice widgets on the home screen. Take a look at this, for example. Five home screens, it goes back to that with favorite applications here. Then you have a nice dialing uh, keypad from the home screen. So nice, you know, to see two different modes to make this device a little bit easier and, you know, really appeal to a lot of different consumers. So I can see this for the first time smartphone user. I can see this for the mid range person. I can see this for the 16, 17 year old, you know, new to smartphones, maybe getting one for the first time, maybe just upgrading from that, uh, that QWERTY based feature phone. This is going to be a good device for a lot of people. And the dual core processor makes it nice and fast. On that note, let's take a look at Quadrant Standard on this device because I think you'll be relatively impressed. And like the Galaxy S3, I'll talk a little bit about battery life. It's got a 2100 milliamp hour battery, but it doesn't power, or isn't powering rather an HD display that's 4.8 inches. It's powering a non HD display that's four inches. And obviously with the flash or the lack of flash on the camera, battery life's been relatively decent. I can make it easily, I'd say 12 to 14 hours before I get into the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked singing that song. 2100 milliamp, it's Friday, give me a break. 2100 milliamp hour battery on this device means 12 to 14 hours because it's powering a smaller display and powering a, a less power hungry processor. That said, Verizon's LTE has historically been a power hog, and you kind of see it here, but I've been pretty impressed with the battery life, and it's nice to see uh, Samsung, even though the display is a little bit smaller, it's nice to see them hang on to the 2100 milliamp hour battery. Call quality has been decent as well. There's a known Verizon dead spot in Northeast Charlotte near the university. Took it up there, had no problems with making and receiving calls. A little bit choppy here and there, but overall been pretty impressed with that. And our quadrant standard score, take it with a grain of salt, but it is 4,305. So again, keep in mind a free device, they're really reevaluating and really redefining what free or 50 bucks with these sub $100 devices can do. I mean, you can get this for free, you can get the Droid Razor M for 100 bucks on Verizon with the edge to edge display and an eight megapixel camera. So really impressive all around here, 4,305 over here. Now let's take a look at Verizon's 4G LTE. Again, like I said in part one, they promise a download speed of five to 12 megabits per second, an upload speed of two to five megabits per second. You know, in actual testing, I see various things. You know, I, The network is definitely saturated in Charlotte because this was one of the first rollouts in December of 2010. You can definitely see the saturation and I can tell that you know quite a few people here have LTE devices. So the penetration uh, is a little bit, I should say the, uh, the market. I can't think of the word that I'm actually trying to think of the word that I'm uh, trying to say here, but quite a few 4G LTE devices on the network. So Shelby, North Carolina, begin test and we'll take a look at this. So again, five to 12 megabits per second on the download, two to five megabits per second on the upload is what they're estimating. And let's take it here. 
and we're looking at about 13, 14, 15 megabits per second. So again, relatively fast. These are probably speeds coming off of the DNC because there were some significant network enhancements that were made. And then on the upload speed, 18 megabits per second here, minus the voice crack, 18 megabits per second. So relatively impressive performance all around. So again, let's take a look at Google Play as well, or the Play Store, I should say. Quadrant Standard right here. And then you've got Speed Test, which I downloaded uh, a couple days ago. And then you got Google Play, and you have access to a couple of different things here. You have apps, music, magazines, books, and then movies and TV, all color-coded. So, for example, when you're in movies and TV, you'll notice the red color scheme. When you're in apps, you'll notice the green color scheme, or magazines, you'll notice the purple color scheme. And all in all, little has changed here with the way it looks. You can rent the Hunger Games, for example, HD or regular. Then you got the preview, synopsis, the casting credits, and then what users have also viewed. So, again, relatively responsive here, little to no lag. The performance is incredible, and again, for 50 bucks, excuse me, for free after rebates, you get a really impressive device that I can recommend to a lot of different people. So I recommend this to the first-time smartphone user. I recommend this to the person that doesn't want to break the bank, but they want a smartphone that has pretty decent features. Highly recommend this. Although what we're getting ready to cover is the camera, and it doesn't have a flash. So we're going to do this, and you can switch between portrait and uh, regular mode. So there's portrait. I'm trying to make a face. Not, that was not pretty. Not pretty at all. So no flash in this device, but what you do have is a couple of different settings and different abilities. Self-portrait, shooting mode, scene mode, exposure value. Then you have single shot, smile shot, panorama here. Then you have this little nifty feature as well. You can change the colors around, make it black and white, make it negative. So we'll change it to black and white. Let's have some fun. And let's take a picture. Actually, I'll take a picture of my office here. And let's take a look at all the boxes. Bam. And I'll show you this picture. Pinch to zoom, relatively responsive uh, in the image gallery. And let's take a look here. Bam. And let's load up that one picture so you can see Aaron Baker phone dog. And then you can see when you cannot get a compliment any other way, pay yourself one creepy blue man that you see. Get a close up look on that. How do you like them apples? That is a good look. This man is very happy because it's Friday. Friday, Friday, got to get down on Friday. And he is very happy. So again, favorite settings here, because we're still in the easy mode. If you remember from the beginning of the video, I can change the font size, I can view the battery. And when I click on it, it just gives me quick access in the settings to that. So again, great for that person that's migrating up for the first time or somebody that's like, you know what, I want a good smartphone, but I don't want to pay $200 or $300. This is a good option. I highly recommend this on Verizon. Take a look at it and see if it's the device for you. If you need an HD display, you need a better camera, take a look at the Droid Razor M or even the Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Otherwise, it's an awesome choice. Recommend it to my grandma, recommend it to my mom. Anybody that was looking for a smartphone, didn't want to break the bank, or looking for something with decent features, but maybe it's their first time, this is the device for you. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. Keep it locked on the site for the Galaxy Stellar reviews, dogfights, and more as we continue to cover this nice little device. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Let me know what you think of this device on Phone Dog and on Twitter at uh, excuse me Phone Dog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Phone Dog AB. Be sure to enter our greatest tech giveaway ever too as well. Find out more about that on the Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we'll see you next time.